You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. To perform an oil change on your gearbox, you will need to buy a transmission fluid cleaner and a can of gearbox oil. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off the ignition, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. You will then be able to visualize the airbox that needs to be removed to gain access to the gearbox breather. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the clamp holding the airbox. Disconnect the breather. Now, remove the air intake duct by applying pressure on the slot using a flat screwdriver. Then, unscrew the quarter ton fastener holding the airbox. You can now remove the airbox. Make sure you turn it upwards and pull towards you. This will allow you to see the gearbox breather, which will allow you to incorporate the transmission fluid cleaner into the used gearbox oil. Open the breather cap. Have a funnel taped to the duct, smaller in diameter than the breather hose, and insert the duct into the hose. Before each oil change, we recommend that you add transmission fluid cleaner to your used oil. This will allow you to deep clean any deposits and fouling in the gearbox in preparation for the oil change. Then add the transmission fluid cleaner. Be patient as the liquid may take a long time to pass through the small diameter pipe. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. Reassemble the various components and restart your car to activate the gearbox cleaner and lower the oil viscosity. Start the engine. Let it run idle for 10 to 15 minutes. In order to perform an oil change on the gearbox of your vehicle, you'll need to lift the front of the vehicle to remove the left front wheel and access the drain nut. Unscrew the wheel nuts, lift the front of the car and place it on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Racing Your Vehicle Safely before carrying up this step. You can then remove the wheel. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You can then remove the plastic cover, if any, to access the gearbox drain nut. You can now clearly see the gearbox drain nut. Be careful not to confuse the gearbox drain nut with the engine oil drain nut. The gearbox drain nut is located under the carton shaft where it fits into the gearbox. In some cases, it may be advisable to unscrew the strut bar to make it easier to unscrew and screw the drain nut back in. Using an oil service spanner, unblock the drain nut and finish unscrewing it by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw. The oil may suddenly squirt out. Anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Collector for Liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. Replace the drain seal with a new one, then screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand, then finish off using a wrench without being overzealous, of course. It is now time to reveal the oil in the gearbox. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankcase back in place, then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. 
disassemble the various components to access the gearbox oil breather. For refilling, reuse the funnel and plastic tube used for adding the transmission fluid cleaner. Insert it all in the filler hole. Add oil intermittently due to the diameter of the tube. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Screw the breather cap back on. Reassemble up the various elements. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.